morning, puppy. Today is quad day. Let's go. What? I look like a giant green booger. Like a fluttery little butterfly. Was your own little little words? Oh yeah. My name is Julia Renee, and I'm an IFBB Wellness Pro, and I want to welcome you to our Monarch series. So I'll kind of go into a little bit of detail later on why I chose this name for the new series and why it was speaking to me. And this series is actually going to be something that we're going to be doing together if you choose to. So there's going to be a downloadable PDF in the description, which will be the first link. And it's gonna be a three month series where we can do this together, but I'll go into that a little bit later. But first, to start off the morning, we're gonna do some cardio in this day in the life. And I'm gonna put on my Squeeze Me Skinny Titan Tone Cream, my wrap, and my waist trainer. Okay, so right here, I have the Seamless Shapewear cami on these are super awesome because not only do i wear them when i'm going to cardio but i can wear them like when i'm going out because they just they stick to your body like perfectly so that when you wear like a high-waisted anything it's kind of like almost like a onesie but not having to have wear a onesie because onesies are annoying but i want to show you what it looks like underneath so if you can see this little area right here, how it's lighter, this is actually shapewear and it's kind of sticky. So when you put it on, it'll cling to your body. So I have this on, but I'm gonna roll it up all the way so that we can put the Titan Toned Cream on. So here's the Titan Toned Cream. It actually has 600 milligrams of CBD, so it helps with cellulite, inflammation, pain relief, and you'll notice that once you put it on, it gets, I think it gets cold first, and then it gets hot. I actually one time used this when my back was hurting, and it helped so much, and it gave me so much relief. So I'm gonna put some, this is on my front, I also like, I've been putting some on my arms too, and I've never really done this before, because you can put this basically anywhere, except anywhere that you don't want to sting and burn like, like too much, because it gets cold and then it gets hot, but it feels so good and it feels really good on my muscles. And then I'll put a little bit on my glutes. All of this stuff is going to be linked in the description with a discount code for you guys. So now that I have that on, I put on the seaweed wrap. This is different than regular like plastic wrap because regular plastic wrap actually isn't good for your skin when you put it on. So the seaweed wrap is actually healthy for your skin. So I put this on just to like lock it in because the Titan Tone Cream does, um, it kind of like, what the heck? It gets like melty. Now that I have that on, I'm gonna put my waist trainer on. This one's actually more of an aggressive waist trainer because I, 
I use my other ones, which are more for cardio, which is the neoprene one. It has the yellow on the inside so much that I just had to throw them away because they were, I had them for way too long and they've seen better days. So I actually need to get another one of those. So I'm gonna put this on. So once I have that on, then I can put the seamless shapewear over it. And I just like the way this feels because it like keeps everything in because we have a bunch of layers going on here. And then we can go do cardio. Good morning, puppy. <laughs> Good morning, puppy. We're doing a day in the life. Day in the life of Julia and Vision. 7 a.m. Vision comes and does this to my leg because he wants attention. Yes, correct. Okay, now we're done with cardio and all I'm doing right now is we have cut it down to 30 minutes between, I think 30 minutes, six days a week. So we've decreased the cardio immensely from what we were doing when we were on prep for a show and I'm loving it and I'm gonna continue to do this. I probably won't keep doing it for six days but I'll slowly like taper it down so that it it's a little bit less and less, but the routine of going and like waking up and doing faster cardio helps me a lot because it keeps me on track and it has, it has like a really awesome effect with me because if I don't do cardio in the morning, it's so weird. I'm like more likely to sleep in. I'm more likely to skip my journaling. I'm more likely to like eat crappy. It's so weird. Anytime that I go off of my routine, then I do one thing that's off of my routine. And then I think, okay, the rest of the day has to be off of my routine. So that's what my cardio routine is now. And we'll get into a little bit more of like what I'm doing for training and what I'm eating. And right now we're gonna go home and make some breakfast. Baby, I miss you. Okay guys, I'm going to make my morning poo poo juice. So in here I have water and a splash of aloe vera juice which helps with digestion. And then here we have the first form Opti Reds. And I do just like a giant scoop of that. And I, yes, I put them in these super cute jars. And if you guys are wondering where all my house stuff is, there's a link in the description that has my Amazon favorites. So I put all the stuff that I got from my new house there, just in case you're wondering. Then we got a scoop of the greens and I actually have a cute little label on it. And then this white powder is actually glutamine, which helps with muscle sparing. So I do a giant scoop of that, and obviously I need to get some more because I'm running out. And then lastly, we have a scoop of fiber, and this fiber is chocolate flavored, and I just love, for some reason, love the way that it tastes mixed with the greens. Okay, so I'm going to sip on that while I make breakfast. So, 
For breakfast, I'm actually going to have, these are my favorite. I am so happy to be in off season or improvement season because I get to mix up what I have. So these are the Dave's Killer Cinnamon Raisin Bagels. So one bagel has 12 grams of protein. So if you struggle to get protein in, getting things like this that have like extra protein in around like eating whole food protein is great. So I'm actually gonna only have half because I've been kind of just listening to my body and figuring out like what I'm craving and how I'm feeling within staying within like my calorie range. So I'm not feeling too hungry this morning. Sometimes after cardio, I'm just like not that hungry. So I'm only gonna have half and I'm gonna put it in my air fryer because I don't have a toaster. Here is my most beautiful breakfast. We have a uh, turkey and egg white omelet, and then I have a half of a cinnamon raisin. I put more cinnamon and sugar on it because I love that. <laughs> and a half of a baby avocado. Do you like it? You already ate your breakfast. You can't have it. You wanna tweet though? You wanna tweet? Gotta do some tricks. Hold on. High five. No, you have to use your hands. Sit, sit. Vision, I know you're excited. Sit, <laughs> sit. No, that wasn't sit, sit. Good, high five. Good, sit, good. Lay down, lay down. Good boy, here you go. Okay, bye. Okay, I am here to get my lashes done because they're falling apart and I love getting my lashes done. It makes me feel fresh and brand new. Like a fluttery little butterfly. Okay guys, we're back home and I had to rush and eat something really, really, really quickly because I had a meeting with Gabby and Kendall for a secret project that we're doing that'll be announced very, very soon. Secret. Secret. So I had to stop and pick up something for that, but I can't tell you what it is yet. And then we had a meeting, so I was hungry, so I had one of the Anna bars. This one is the white chocolate cookies and cream. I honestly don't like white chocolate. And I had this one and it was so freaking good. Um, they sent me a package of these the other day. And if you guys have ever tried First Forms protein bars, they're so similar to them as far as like how incredible they taste. So I had one of these and then I'll probably eat another meal before we go to the gym. And then I'll talk a little bit about like what my training routine is right now and like what we're doing. Okay guys, this is a sneak peek of the project that I'm working on. That's all you get.
we are getting ready to go to the gym. So I'm gonna have my ghost energy drink for my basically energy and focus. And then over here, I'm gonna put one scoop of the L-carnitine. This one's for fat burning. And this is in the, the words, cherry lime, which actually I think is like my favorite so far. And then we have Alpha Surge in uh, Tropical Punch. Alpha Surge is for pumps. And pumps aren't just good for, you know, the aesthetics. They're also good for mind to muscle connection because blood flow will go into the muscle that you're working. And today we're working quads so that you have better connection with it. Ooh, ah, I look like a giant green booger, but in a cute way. Mm. So this is what I'm gonna sip on during my workout. And this is what I'm gonna sip on on the way to the gym. So today is quad day, let's go. Okay guys, you're probably gonna move a lot because I don't have a good setup in my car for the YouTubes. But anyways, we're on our way to do quads. So I just kinda wanted to talk about my training focus. So for this improvement season, I need to grow my calves, I need to grow my hamstrings more, and I need to grow my glutes. This has been my, I guess, like problem area for a long time because I'm so quad dominant that they take over. So I really have to be, I guess, intentional with how I'm training. So my training split right now is, I think it's Monday is shoulders and a little bit of triceps. Tuesday, which is today, is quad focus. But even on my quad focus days, whoops, whoa, whoa. Even on my quad focus days, I'm still hitting a little bit of glutes and a little bit of hamstrings. So basically I'll be hitting them three times a week. And then Wednesday is either a rest day or it's like a, what's Wednesday? Or it's like a, it's kind of like a full body workout day. Then I think Thursday, glutes and hammies. Friday is shoulders and hitting a little bit of back and biceps. I don't hit them like intensely because I already have big enough, like a big enough back, big enough biceps, big enough triceps. It's mainly just me like activating them to make sure that they're still there and they don't disappear. And then Saturday is glutes and hamstrings again. And then Sunday is my rest day. So if Wednesday I'm feeling like tired and I'm like, I don't want to do a full body workout, then I'll just take a rest day. And then like I told you guys before, the cardio routine that we're doing, I'm really loving it right now. And I'm actually using my own quad queen program that I made for all my workouts and I'm tracking my progress and it's actually going super well. Today's quad focus leg day, I followed my own workout from my new quad queen program, which you can find in the description below. We started with squats. I started relatively light and worked my way up in weight, starting with two warm up sets of 15 and 12. Then we went into our working sets and did 10 reps, 8 reps, 6 reps, increasing the weight as a rep went down. Your last set of 6 and 8 should be the heaviest that you can go. Then, after, I moved into a single leg press and then supersetted it with leg extensions. So for the leg press, I had my leg high and my toes pointed out so I can target my quad and my hamstring. I started with a light weight and did about 15 reps on each leg, then went straight over to the leg extension and did 12 lighter reps on the leg extension. Then I rested for about two minutes and repeated this four times, increasing the weight on the leg press, but keeping the leg extension relatively light. After that, I moved into the gluteator machine. And if you don't have one of these at your gym, I'm so sorry because they're freaking incredible. And you can just use a regular abduction machine if that works for you. So one set of these is 40 reps. I did 10 reps with my feet staggered one way, 10 reps with my feet staggered the other way, 10 with my feet close, and then 10 with my feet far. Since this was a lot of reps, I kept the weight relatively light, but don't underestimate because they burn. I did three sets of these total, and then when I finished, I did some body weight hamstring curls. This machine will humble the heck out of anybody because you have to use only your hamstrings to pull up your entire body. 
So I just did that until failure and that was my quad focus leg day, my friends. And again, if you want this workout, it'll be linked in the description below. Okay, workout is complete. I feel so great. We PR'd on every single workout. Oh yeah. And that's awesome. Like we're building strength and I just can't, this is just the beginning. So right now I'm actually at H-E-B because there's this salad that I've been making and it's so freaking good. And it's a shrimp salad and I ran out of shrimp. So I'm gonna go get some ready shrimp and then not ready shrimp so that I can cook it and have it for later and then having the shrimp that's already ready so that I can have it now and I don't have to wait. Got a little bit of salad. We got some frozen, already cooked shrimp. And then got some more avocados, because I like to put avocado on this salad. And then I got some of the shrimp cocktail because I wanted it to be ready so I don't have to wait to eat it. So now that I am winding down for the night and gonna finish up some work, I wanted to talk to you guys about the new series and why I decided on the Monarch series. So basically, it's based off the Monarch butterfly, obviously. And it's just a plus that Monarch butterflies are orange and my favorite color is orange. But I wanna read you something that will help you kind of make sense why I chose to create this series. So Monarch Butterflies are a guiding light that direct you to your highest spiritual truth and inner compass that we all have. They represent strength, endurance, spirituality, trust, sustaining what they believe, transformation, and evolution. So it couldn't be a more perfect name for the series because I feel like right now in my life, there's so much that's changing and we're evolving and I want you guys to do it with me in a monarch butterfly just kind of encapsulates what we're going to be doing within the next three months. So we're going mind, body, spirit. So each month is going to be focused on one of these three categories. So month one is going to be mind and we're gonna focus on setting realistic goals, finding areas that we can improve. I'm gonna do this, you're gonna do this with me if you want to. Only if you want to. Month two is going to be body, creating a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. So that's what we'll kind of focus on more so eating, working out. We're still gonna be doing all of that throughout the entire series, but month one is just going to be mainly focused on that and like what I'm doing to improve that. Month two, like I said, body, creating a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. And month three is spirit, becoming one with ourselves and kind of just bringing together all of the things that we have learned within the past couple of months. And like I said, in the, the description, there's gonna be a first, the first link in the description is going to be a downloadable PDF 
for you to follow along with everything that I'm going to be doing if you would like to. Um, but I guess that kind of covers all of it. We talked about diet, we talked about training, we talked about the new series, and this is kind of how my routine has been every day. I'm really trying to stick to a routine because for me, one of my red flags to know that I'm going into, I don't wanna call it like a dark place, I call it my hole usually, and is when my routine is off. So if I stop waking up early, start sleeping in, if I stop going to the gym, if I stop doing cardio, if I stop eating healthy, all of these things I know make me feel so happy and so healthy. And when I'm not doing them, it's always a sign like something is wrong. There's something more that you need to address here. So I'm excited for this series and I know that a lot of you are excited as well. So. As always, I love you all so much, and you are more powerful than you think. Bye! <laughs>